Biohazard warning. Entering contaminated zone. Transmissions jammed. Proximity coverage only. Backup activated. System rebooted. What's going on, agents? This is your boy Sly here, back with some more division updates for you. And as you can see by the title, some of this will impact the most used gear set in the game. But before we get into that, what is up, ladies and gents? I hope your weekend is starting off effing awesome. I know that mine is. Now, before we start, don't forget, guys, that my giveaway is happening next weekend. So watch this vid right here. Follow the instructions and win some sweet goodness. All you need to do is be a subscriber of Sly Nation, and that is it. Just make sure you follow the directions. Click the image here or click the link in the box below. Follow the instructions to enter. It's super easy and good luck to everyone out there. Also, tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern U.S. time, that's 3 p.m. West Coast, I'm going to have a Twitter giveaway for the halfway point. Keep an eye out for that as I will be choosing a winner for that tonight. Look for a tweet at 6 p.m. and see if you can win some of that awesomeness. Alright, well let's get into it y'all. As usual, Massive had their state of the game on Thursday, which is basically like a weekly update during their server maintenance. Once again, no date set on when the next update is due to hit. I was almost positive that this week would be the week for the announcement, but I'm going to have to eat it because I guess I was wrong. Now with the month almost halfway finished, we should see something very soon. So let's keep our fingers crossed, but let's get into the meat of the update, and we're going to start with gear sets. Now, there is no official names yet, but they have confirmed that there will be two or three new sets. These sets will be tailored to specific weapon types. Where the first wave of gear sets kind of hinted at different playstyles, the new ones are going to be more in line with a specific weapon type. Like I said, they haven't named them or given them official numbers as to how many there will be released, just the direction that these new sets will take us. Now they have confirmed that the power level will also not increase. Gear score of 240 will still be the max for all armor and gear, while weapons will be remained at a capped 204. Now they're doing this to ensure they don't reach like a World of Warcraft scenario where you're gonna, like in a few years time, you're gonna be doing damage in like the tens of millions and have bosses with like a billion HP. They're looking for a slower power increase and that's why we won't see any higher gear scores, but we will see a lot more of them with the buffing of higher gear score drops and a nerf of the 163s. So in the new Dark Zone, the 163s will all but be extinct. So if you're wondering how we're going to compete in the new incursion if they aren't increasing the gear score, then you, my friend, need to chillax because I was thinking the same thing. The information at the top of the map where the new incursion site is located is all outdated and wrong. Besides the location and the size, everything about it should be considered irrelevant. The new incursion will have the exact same gear score requirements as Falcon Lost, both hard and challenging. Even the name is being changed. Now Broken Circle, while a great name for Falcon Lost, it isn't really a fitting name for this new mission and it'll be renamed by the time 1.2 drops. So far, no word on the new name, but you definitely don't need to be 220 gear score to enter this bad boy, so that is definitely a sigh of relief. Alright, so next up, let's talk about Sentry's Call, by far the most popular gear set out there, and surprise, surprise, it's bugged as fuck. Two major issues were found. First, in the DZ, a neutral, friendly agent could get the flag above their head, indicating that Sentry's Call damage buff is against them, and they could receive it without even being fired upon. Simply walking up to an agent with a complete Sentry's Call gear set could trigger this bug and permanently give you that damage buff. Now that permanently give it to you like in the bad way, like as in you take in the damage, not you dish out the damage. And the only way to get it off is to log out with your character and then log back in. Otherwise, you're stuck with it the entire time you're in the DZ. Even if you leave the DZ and go back in, you're going to go back in with it stuck on your dome, and that is a bad thing to have. And the second is that the Sentry's Call gear set was to be mainly used by marksmen, more so marksmen's rifles. Now, the gear set talent was intended to be activated by marksmen's rifles only, but as we all know, it can easily be maxed out with just three headshots from an MP5, Vector, AUG, or any other fast-firing automatic weapon out there, giving you 45% more damage pretty much instantaneously. So, since this turned out to be super powerful and not the way the devs had intended, it is getting a nerf. Now, 
You can only get the talent to proc with semi-automatic weapons only. That is going to be the new change. And that means snipers, pistols, and shotguns only. No LMGs, no submachine guns, and no assault rifles. And since 99% of agents out there run an SMG, this is going to affect a lot of people. Honestly, in the beginning, that's why I never went with Sentry's Call because I thought it was only supposed to work with snipers, which is why I went all strikers. With this nerf coming here in the next week or two, I think there will be a lot more people switching over to strikers. Now remember, it will still be beast to those that have an M1A or an M44 or the Covert SRS. You know, all of those are still going to work great. So don't get rid of it. It will still be beast and a great option for bosses. But it's going to be a little harder to put down agents in the DZ. Alright, so with the main topics out of the way, they ended up going over some of the things that I went over last week, like the, you know, they're going to fix talent stacking, the reckless chest piece and savage gloves, you know, that will be fixed in 1.2, as well as more frequent 200 plus gear score drops, and primarily a huge increase in weapon drops. Now, while they are nerfing the amount of mods being dropped, they are doing something to mods themselves, and they might end up being worth your while. They are buffing the percentage of secondary attributes on performance mods. So while you usually only see like a 3 or 5% increase in like sticky bomb damage, blast radius, or like ballistic shield damage increase, you know, stuff like that, you're going to see a huge spike increase for these skill bonuses. Now, they didn't go into specific details, but performance mods are about to become a lot more attractive. So let's go ahead and get to the final big change coming to the division in 1.2, and that is something called toughness. So have you ever had like two pieces of armor that both were great, but one had more armor and less stamina, and the other had more stamina but less armor? Kind of confusing, right? Now, which one is going to allow you to soak up more bullets and keep you in the fight a little longer? Well, it's hard to find out, but in 1.2, they're adding a gauge of toughness. Now, so instead of guessing which one is better, you can see a toughness rating of your equipped items, and then you can compare it to your current setup to see if it is indeed a better armor piece or if it ends up lowering your survivability. This is something that I am definitely excited to see. It will take into account your stamina and your armor from each piece and give you a rating based on those factors. This will drastically improve your ability to equip better gear. Now be aware that it does not take into account damage from elites, that is a separate category. So while we're on armor, some more good news. The current armor cap is increasing. For those of you who aren't aware, the current armor cap right now is at 65%. Even if you find other pieces with tons of armor on it, you can never go over 65% armor. That's why it's a good idea to choose better talents or attributes than solely focus on armor. Just after a few high pieces, you're going to end up maxing it out really, really easily. So in the next update, 1.2 Conflict, the armor cap will be raised to 75%. That is a huge difference, man. I mean, 75% armor is a huge difference chunk and I'm excited to see how that translates into shotgun survivability. But that's it guys, sorry if these vids are a little boring, but there really isn't a great way to get this information out there. Now if you want to see the entire broadcast out for this week's State of the Game, check it out in the description box below. It will have a link so you can watch it in its entirety all for yourself. Well, I'm out nation, as always you guys are freaking awesome and thank you all for watching. If you want to stay up to date on everything, The Division, Destiny, and new uploads from Sly Nation, Twitter is the best place to do so. Follow at Sly Nation and be alerted to new uploads from my channel and hot topics from our favorite games. Don't forget, tonight at 6 p.m. is my Twitter giveaway, and a few hours after that, I will announce a winner. I couldn't do this without you guys. Don't forget that, and until next time, this is your boy Sly. Done. Gone. Out. Zone B secure.